One like big like thing is kind of tunnel visioning. This is a nest thing. This is also a Duram go thing. Tunnel visioning into a lot of immediate double jump for Gregor's good ledge and a lot of like unsafe planking attempts with PK Thunder. Leon as well can sometimes occasionally drop the ball because, you know, his mental sometimes is maybe not the most solid, but they both look calm, they both look composed, they both look cool, and that's that double jump cancel PK fire. On a heavyweight, you can get down through it to Gregor, but somehow Leon avoiding the second one. I think a good sense of how to SCI from where he can and just trying to move about. When you consider Bowser, he's going to be living for a long time. Leon knows this. Leon's going to take full advantage of that. So that's where to go on for those, right? Immediate double jump for those. He spaces, he spaces that time super safe. That time actually didn't set up into another tech chase, so he was not able to find his jab lock. And now, just dashing back and forth, he's going to be trying to catch a landing kill. Leon just occupying center stage, playing second beat and waiting for Syrup to whiff, waiting for him to press a button, dashing in, dashing out, trying to bait something. He's looking for it, and he found it. Oh, and there we go. The first command grab of the set, and it's going to lead to the first stock yep. for Leon. If there's one thing that I can guarantee you, it's going to be explosive stock star. Yo, auto cancel down a tomahawk grab on a flat like that. Syrup is looking kind of clean with it. I also really appreciate how Leon, once again, will always smash out of disadvantage because Bowser tech rolls are pretty awful. Hell magnet combos, not able to actually get the next follow-up that he needed, but still has Leon off stage. Maybe getting a little lost in the sauce. Ooh, there's that falling up air. You've spoken all of this into existence, Star. Backs off a little bit, tried to fade back, recognizing that that was a bit of an unsafe place to be. It's also quite easy to shield poke Bowser. Keep in mind how Leon is tilting his shield. He is playing this matchup so well. He's playing this with so much experience and so much, like, conservative, like, passive play. Leon has always been a very visceral player. He just has such a good understanding of the flow of uh -oh. Smash. We're gonna be going through Yoyo here. This is really bad for Leon. He no longer has the high recovery mix-ups. Syrup went there just in case. This is the stock. He can't live here. But then Damn. he spaces the upbeat. He spaces the upbeat. He thought to be able to clank with the Yoyo. Ah, uh, that was just good stuff. Good spacing, good patience. That was right on cue, almost a spike too. So. Yeah. And that's, I feel like, one of the things I wanted to bring up is the fact that both of these players, they can cut against the grain so easily with how they play. Fuck. Ooh! Is that Jep 2? Yeah. Oh no. Just punched a kid in the face. I mean, listen, when the fist is like the entire size of his face, it's kind of you know, hard yeah. to Oh, getting caught. He has no double jump, and he's taking full advantage of it. Not going to be able to get a two frame. I feel like that would have been a big time to go for the two frame F tilt at that moment. Maybe Leon did not recognize that situation. Good edge guard from Syrup. No longer messing around with those yo yo's, saying, hey, you know what, bud? I'm just going to go out there uh, with the double jump for But now he's off stage once again, stuck at the ledge. Good patience. You gotta watch out for the neutral B win box. It can kind of mess up PK Thunders. Just the notion of using Fire Breath 2 for that low commitment edge guard, I think is really important if you yep. percentages. You don't want to give Syrup the opening to find big damage. Excellent held magnet to be able to cover the spot dodge though. So safe on hit. Big neutral A. Oh. oh, you weren't supposed to swing there. Oh, and Leon knew that. And that's game one though, Leon. Yeah. Although Bowser Tech Girls are once again exploitable and straight up bad, I want to say some of the worst tech options in the game. Syrup was a little bit too far out to be going for a four-liter like that. Uh, especially a full hop one. Maybe he was trying to catch like a preemptive jump. Leon slowed it down, he sat there, he waited, and was able to find a back here out of shield. So what I what I just like really like to see uh, from Syrup going into this game too, is a little bit safer movement. You know, not necessarily jumping in as much. I wholeheartedly agree. I think being just a little overzealous with those jump-ins is what caused like, all three stocks to get taken off. A little bit of a misplay. That could have been the whiff punish and down. It has a substantial amount of end lag, especially like that. Good for Lou. Could be able to get a pickup still. And tries to go in ahead and cover the air dodge with the new trophy. The fact that Leon has opted to not really press too much out of shield has been going so well for him throughout this set. Syrup staying so active here, forcing Leon yeah. into the seat of reacting. Leon didn't go for an upbeat. He was probably thinking that Syrup was going to like fade back with the neutral out. Now Syrup is looking for the next big hit. He does find a pretty big hit. I don't think that turning on Florida is intentional. He's probably holding in. Oh, but, but that was intentional. Uh, Let's start back here, managing to take out that first stock. Fantastic play from Syrup. He's also one of the only mess mains I see integrating ledge jumps into his play that often. Hoopong shifting. I don't know how it happened. And oh, 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 my God, Syrup. 
Oh, the no. sour hit. Oh, no. Sour hits are plenty. That was a little bit tragic because he had that. He had fire. He had momentum. He had the great idea. And then Bowser, because of how big his hurtbox is, none of the auto link angles were able to fully connect. The foot's still out of pressure, but no follow-up on the plat from Leon. Woo! We still managed to get the check with the up special. It's a 3-1 stock count for Syrup. That was hot. That was good stuff. That was wonky, too. No one really expected to be there. Yep. Always, always like fading back with the tail like that. You can catch people going in, pressing buttons that they really shouldn't. Now going to be getting that. Not close enough to be able to find a spike. That can true confirm into a spike, but Syrup trying to catch a tech roll in. He is cooking. He has so much momentum, but nice out of shield option from Leon. He's got to be careful about how he presses buttons on block because Leon has been consistently exhibiting such patience while understanding he can't press his buttons like he normally wants to. Applying so much damage, able to get the down beat. Now Syrup is sitting at 113%. Oh no. That landing was a little bit antsy, a little bit aggressive. Good stuff on Leon who recognizes Syrup didn't and hit a there shield. it is. Finally picking up those jumps from ledge. Getting forward tilted. Ness to be loved jump to ledge, let me tell you, bud. And Leon has taken full advantage of that. That PK fight was not spaced uh, correctly for that to be safe enough. That one was, but then Syrup went in with a preemptive uh, option. So he's going through jab blocks. I like that, though. Like, it's, it's threatening. You have to constantly keep your opponent on edge. They can't afford to miss that tech. That PK Thunder is a little bit cheeky. He should be able to die yeah. this. Yeah, he's still living for a little bit. Now just planking with PK Thunder once again. Really dangerous stuff. Rolls back on. Leon uncharacteristically the single goal punish. He has no he might have no double jump. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Leon learned his lesson. He didn't want to commit to the forward tilt too easily. Oh, that was a bit of a nasty I don't think he's here. surviving that one. Not off the plat. Not at all. Yeah. Alright, so. Sergup kind of came alive this game number two. Uh, he was cooking his advantage, which is definitely a whole lot more solid. Um, I it, feel like that missing that down air spike kind of like killed it though. Yeah, no, the sour hit on the down air from that one edge guard, I think, spelt the Leon W into existence. Yep. If there's one thing that I'll give credit to, to and Leon. Jump? We jump him. No more jumps. Oh, we can't afford to. Yeah, absolutely not. Because I think Leon's ability to adapt is what's really putting him over Syrup current. There's a sense of fluidity to how he plays. There's also just a sense of experience. But already, that's such a good uh, forwarder. Now, that F-tilt was not intentional. Uh, he wanted to go for like another forwarder, but then just ended up buff uh, buffering his next attack option. I do appreciate it nonetheless. Now, Leon has stage once again. He has Syrup off stage. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that was a little ugly. The follow through. Beautiful. Only two tail hits. He was, the head was a little bit too far down. He was not able to get the final hit. Backs off, and there it is. Double jumping back on. Right above Bowser, being so vulnerable. Just a sitting duck. Being above Bowser is such a dangerous spot to be in, regardless of whatever character you are. Even if you have good landing options or good mix-ups, Bowser's ground speed is incredible. And Leon's ability to just choose the right gun at the right time consistently yeah. rewards him. I like the down smash. He almost got it too, because I believe that would have been able to armor through the multi-hits. Now let's talk about that up smash. Syrup okay. getting a little overzealous with the up B. And he paid the price for it dearly. Once again, yeah. He's just not spacing these like safe enough, and he's never really connecting a lot of the head hits. As a result, those tail hits tend to be quite unsafe on hit. Now he needs to get off this platform, but Leon is not having any of it. He's just holding shield so often. The rising command grab such a good response to the way that Syrup has been trying to use K Thunder. Okay, really nice back there. That's gonna be stage control. And finally gonna be able to get the double jump forward. Such a good jump catch. Mm -hmm. But the bleeding's not over yet. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, not off the back hit. Where's that forward tilt? How about a forward there? He has no double jump off stage. He should be gone here. Ah, uh, but Leon misses it and There's once again. I feel like a fortune teller. I feel like I have predicted the future here because at the end of the day, this is not even just a syrup thing. This is a nest thing. You don't actually have the best out of ledge options. Ness is not necessarily the fastest character. He has quite a bit of acceleration, so he can make himself quite ambiguous, right, with like a whole lot of tricky little movement. But when it actually comes to raw frame data, Ness is not fast, and he's really floaty. 
he has maybe, you know, one of the most exploitable jumps from ledge in a meta where having a good jump from ledge is honestly, you know, your lifeblood. You live and die by your jump by from ledge, right? Wolf, Roy, etc. They're just able to consistently get back onto stage over and over with an unreactable option. In the case of Ness, not only are you floaty, so you're not going to be landing anytime soon, so you can't make that ambiguous, but then you're also really, really slow. So you're going to have to, like, drift, uh, you know, like really, really slowly to be able to get from A to B. As a result, Syrup feels like he needs to keep on swinging. Leon was able to take full advantage of it, and he just had to put out an F tilt, a forwarder, and he was able to catch those drop down double jumps over and over and over again. The games got more and more convincing as the set went on. It looked fairly even going into yeah. the beginning of the set, but by game three, it was absolutely Leon's set to lose. Yeah. And 